Vinland was a bit of a pushover in this war. Uh, I think everybody can kind of agree. Uh, they didn't put up much of a fight. I lost most of my men to attrition and taking bad fights in speed five. And even then, we still absolutely rolled them. So, I don't know, man. They didn't really do much. So, as far as next moves go, um, we really could just go full-on expansion. I think that really is what we should do. So, let's switch on over to an admin focus. We are making absolutely no mill mana. That is crazy. Uh, but, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do, especially considering the fact that we want to start stacking up our uh, colonization efforts. And that, that expo expansion will give us... Offensive gives automatically discover adjacent, which I think we already have actually through our native, but we'll get global settler increase, which is good. And uh, these guys through our event, through these guys, we can also get, All right, we already have that. Very good. So what is our global settler increase? Is that right here? 85, not bad. Not bad at all. Let them go. Trade power abroad for 10 prestige for five years or Buy prestige for trade power abroad. Well, I'll take the trade power abroad. Colonial ambitions gives me an extra colonist. Ooh, really? So we get an extra colonist. Very good. Cool. So let's uh, get started on that then, since we're going to want to be getting over this way. I'll take corruption. I definitely would rather do that than lose. Um... Uh, as long as my vassals are loyal, I don't particularly care if they're disloyal. They're raiding me. They said less talking, more raiding. This is fine. Ooh. Uh, yep. I will lose some money, I guess. Damn, we are taking out loan after loan. Psych. Oh, yeah, we're going to take it alone. There's nothing I can do about it. Can I get another loan from the burgers? I can ask them for a contribution, so I will do that. Very nice. Yes, if you guys are enjoying the campaign up to this point, though, please do let me know by leaving a like on the video. It really does help out a lot more than you may know. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me, man? All right, let's turn off that army maintenance for a moment. Oh, they got a lot of rebels right now. Uh-huh. How did I know this was going to happen? All right. Make sure that we are not, uh, you know... We got a 10 stack here, though. That's their whole army. Hot dog. Make sure that we can catch them after the monthly tick here. Very good. Oh, shoot. We're going to lose that even. Yikes. Oh, well. Anyways, I think that this is the peace deal we're going to look for. So we're just going to have to beat up on them a little bit more. Let's uh, colonize that province there. Take out another loan because, you know... That was honestly just a bad fight anyways. But they're getting beat up on by rebels, which is great. Their war exhaustion is maxed out, almost. So, pretty straightforward, you know. The land that they take... Yeah, my vassal with their three-star general. Very good. More provinces getting converted. Culture converted. Very nice. And uh, they still are in this war. Ah, very good. So, my vassal can um, siege down this province here. Bring you an order, please. Seize that province down. That will give us the ticking war score. And our... The Basila is... Or boss Whatever is dead. Long live the Basilisa. Who's really good? Maria. 645. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Uh, so as far as what we're looking for. Trade efficiency is solid. I think I've been going with the tech cost quite a bit. I think we're going to go with Global Settler Increase. That way we can really start kicking our uh, expansion into overdrive. And um, half off trade efficiency, guy. We might be able to do something with that. Uh, wow. I'm literally getting every single event I possibly could that is hurting my economy. And it is starting to tilt me a little bit. All right. And then I'd like to take as much money from them as possible. Nice. That is really good. The Diplo is a small price to pay. The aggressive expansion means nothing. There you go. How's that for a border change, right? Now, we'll sort by overextension. And we'll just core up what we can. That is a really good peace deal right there. We're going to have rebels over here. There's nothing I can do about it. Let's have these other guys head down to the south and, uh, you know, handle them. How's the overextension, actually? I don't think we should get much because it's mostly New World, country New World, right? We are a great power now. Let's go. Number six. 
We are a greater power than the Mamluk Sultanate. Incredible. Change army doctrine. I don't think we want to do that. All right. Conquer new states. If you're wondering why I haven't clicked it, it is because we do not want to click it yet. Simple as. Simple as, simple as. Now, we need to get some claims. Oh, shoot. Actually, these guys... Okay, we're good. We can attack these guys. Ottawa and Fox. Those are both OPMs, if I had to guess. We'll be able to take everything on this side of the Great Lakes. Clean up these borders, you know? that That's really what it is. That's really what it's about for me. Right. We are rocking six colonies right now, or four colonies right now. Let's uh, turn that army maintenance down. Make sure our forts, we don't have any forts. So let's see here. The Varangians, I think I can give them... Oh, I can conscript a general? A 462! Holy smokes, I wish I would have seen that earlier. Let's go. All right, now... What was it? Didn't... Isn't there an event that I can have with them? Grant area. Sure, confirm. And that will allow them to get big and strong. Okay, cool. Then they can just hang out there. They can have this area. That is fine. They'll probably put it to good use, I'm sure. Wink, wink. We're going to have to culture convert all this. And we're going to have to... So I'll give a lot of this over to the clergy to get converted. And I'll give a lot of it over to the bar boy as well. Make sure you stay ahead of time on Diplo. Of course. That helps out our income quite a bit. This will allow us to pay off our loans. Nice. Okay. I'm fine with these guys being influential. As long as they're loyal, I'm fine with them being influential. Right. Let's uh, mothball those heavies. We don't need to be paying for them. Now, somebody had also mentioned that I was being a dingus. Apparently, you can steer from here. That is different. It didn't used to be that way. This is an end node here now. It didn't used to be. So let's transfer from here instead, and we'll go from... Uh, six, um, 17 to 18.2. So yeah, that is definitely the move. So I apologize for that. So thank you, whoever had left that comment. I'm so used to va vanilla, right? Our navigator is dead. Oh no. Anyways. Very good. Let's go. We're rich. This will allow us to build more buildings and continue to snowball. Snowball, snowball, snowball. Proper sacrifices. Okay. So it says we lose 38 ducats. We lose minus 50 ducats. But that minus national unrest is solid. So I will go with it. So basically I need to save up enough that we can let our um, country get big and strong. I'm not seeing any colonizing though. Southern hemisphere. But other than that, that's it. Extra colonists. Yes, please. Uh, Diplo, Admin, Diplo, Diplo. Sounds good. So these colonies are finishing up, if I had to guess. Yep. Oh, I gave them away. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> All right, so these guys are guaranteed by Vinland, annoyingly. I can vassalize them if I want. Probably not. Vinland wouldn't even help them. Let's get some spy network on these guys. Vinland, we can get some claims on, so I will do that. Very good. Within In the next one, we're definitely going to... Ooh. Okay. In the next one, we will definitely... In the next war, we will definitely be uh, building up our navy and crushing them. That way, we can uh, kind of squish them before they even get big enough, right? Uh, Imperial Decree, Army Tradition Decay, or General Estates. Hmm... Production efficiency is good. I like the government reform a lot as well. Is it in this? Oh, so you still get the corruption. It was 1.30 where they changed that. That is so punishing. I don't think we're going to need the absolutism if we're not really going back into Europe. So let's go with the production efficiency. I'm very keen on production efficiency. It's going to help out our income. It'll scale very well into the late game. May not be exactly the right move, but I'm okay with it for now. All right, so let's turn our army maintenance back all the way up. Have you guys suppress. Make sure that you are suppressing as much as possible just to spread it out there. These guys are mostly cored up, correct? Yes, so 
in an attempt to get it all converted, we are going to state it all for sure. Definitely want to state it all. Eventually, we'll even start working towards our idea group that we were talking about doing. <laughs> Eventually. There we go. And then as soon as these cores are done, we'll be able to state these up as well. How many states are we at now? 13 out of 25. We have one territory over here. That's fine. So that means these guys are all going to be pretty quick to convert, honestly. All right. So where's this one at here? Orifos? Orifos? This guy here. So this is 11 dev. Let's wait monthly tick here. All right. I don't care about you. Let us do some yoinking of dev. That will lower the admin dev in most of these provinces, but it will also lower the admin dev of these provinces up here. So we will yoink it all. What this does is it makes a little bit, just a little bit cheaper to, uh, to convert it. You can see here a little bit faster to convert all of them. So the ones that are going to be the longest, uh, this province here and these province there, I will give those both to the clergy. So let's see here. Let's give you to the clergy and you to the clergy. And that will allow us to convert it very quickly. Very good. And I will have them proselytize as well or preach. Very good. That will convert those super quick. And then a, the rest of them I will give... Well, I don't know about the rest of them, but a lot of them I will give over to uh, these Barbroy guys. Now, is there any provinces up here that are, like, very important for trade? Doesn't look like it. In fact, it looks like most of these provinces are garbage, to be completely honest. Any trade goods up here that I'm worried about? Literally, it was all seals, fur, and then a couple of... Uh, okay. So, I suppose the Barboys can get plenty of this up here that's fine with me they will convert the cultures as well which will make it easier to convert it later on let's see here they're at 13 i don't actually know what's a good number i don't remember it's been years since we played on this patch all right i'll give this one here to them as well and this one here as well so that puts them at 20 but that manpower recovery speed is really solid it's gonna be really useful all right, this province down here actually got a really solid trade modifier, didn't it? One of these provinces did. Was it this one? Oh my gosh, what? Holy smokes, this province is really good for trade. That is actually nuts. All right. So, if we want to push for this... Oh, what? Oh, I already clicked that one. So army of 80,000 or greater. We are very, we're actually making good progress towards that. So let's get some more cav and some more infantry. Get a value cannon, more cav as our manpower will allow it. And uh, I think we can do that. I think we should probably also start switching over to a few of them to infantry as well. We have two free colonists, so we should be using them. So let's colonize and colonize. That is 10 dev right there. So that's good. Those are only two each because... They are, we are under our limit, which is really good. We are able to get some claims on these guys, so we should probably get two of them. Very good. Yes, convert them all. Actually, let's convert the ones that are going to be actually like worth converting right off the rip there. But we are uh, we're making it happen. Oh, wait. It converted the culture instantly. Oh, my. I did not know that. That is incredible. Well, what can I do with you guys? Support the natives and give them loyalty, but they're already over 60. Councils are currently grateful and will happily contribute as many warriors as they can. Let's go ahead and do that and then send them money in exchange. I think that's very fair. That's a lot of manpower we just got. So let's get those guys built up there. We're up to 48,000 men. Let's um, recruit you guys from the Iroquois. We do not need that anymore. And then let's see here. Can I attack them for free? Vinland will join. Hmm. You know, I'm kind of okay with it because this would actually allow us an opportunity to beat the tar out of them. Do you guys not have an army? Vinland has no army. No army at all. Okay, well, in that case, I'm definitely going to attack them. Who are you? A nobody. This is fine. We're going to annex both of them. That will actually be perfect for us. Um, and then Vinland up here, I guess, is chilling. 
Let's see if I can just get onto his capital. Let's see if they'll allow that. Not right now. Oh, yo, these natives just absolutely flooded into my homeland. Look at that. Sons of guns. Oh my gosh. This is fine. If you guys want to fight, I'll fight you. I don't think you want to fight though. I have a feeling you don't want to fight. So wait, this province is mine now? Because this didn't, this wasn't mine. Did I take this? Well, let's give it to the bar boy councils. Does that automatically convert it? That is so cool. I love that actually. All right. Get these guys down here. Let's get these natives out of there. They're heading up into this province here. Now, hopefully we can catch him. Um, let's go with our shock damage received. That's fine. I'd rather do that. Extra pip as well. So let's get up here. Vinland is coming in hot. Let's... um. Carp siege them down. Now, these guys have no army, really. The Vringians have no army. I wonder why. Are they in debt? Oh, shoot. Yeah, they're in debt. Why? Oh, you poor lads. Yeah, that's my fault, actually. That is completely my fault. <laughs> hey! Aeneas, 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 Aeneas? War exhaustion and army tradition, and we gain a very solid general. So I will take you. Absolutely good, sir. That's a lot of light ships you guys got there. And these guys are locked in, so I'll come on over and wipe them. Easy enough. Have you guys split and come on over here. Easy peasy. Now, Vinland will probably actually go on to... Uh, I kind of want them to... Get some decent war exhaustion stacked up and then um like white beast them that way because if you don't know you lose war exhaustion based on how much um how much war score you have you lose i'm trying to think of the best way to word it you lose the amount you lose war exhaustion based on how much war score is taken in the war so and eh, not my best fight there let's get a general in there if I have, if I 100% them, they lose 20 wars, war exhaustion. If I, you know, for example, do a peace deal of, oh, I don't know, 50%, they lose 10 war exhaustion. If you do a white peace, they lose no war exhaustion. So it's really, really strong. Get these guys down here, start sieging down these, these Jans. Yeah, I feel bad about the Vrinkians. That is completely my fault. <laughs> That's really funny, though. All right. So they're heading over there. Um, This is fine. As long as they're both happy, I am cool with it. Very good. Finishing up some, uh, some colonies down here. That is so funny. I was like, why don't they have an army? Because I bankrupted them. Oopsies. Oopsie poopsie. There you go. Get you guys up here as well. It's funny because they're also most blockading my vassal in like one of my provinces. So it doesn't really matter to me, honestly. These guys will peace out pretty quickly. Oh, we got a wall breach. Heck yeah, dude. Heck yeah. As soon as we get these two provinces, we'll head on down with these guys with a general, of course. With Anus, Mr. Anus. General anus to you. And then we'll head on down and uh, beat up on these guys. Now, they're on high enthusiasm for reasons. That is uh, a bit strange that they would do that. So they move their capital, actually. To Venus? Venus? Oh, no. Here's his capital. They move their capital. Why would they move their capital there? That is not a good place to, uh, to have your capital. Okay. Anyways... 
Let's get these guys up here. These guys will headhunt a bit. This is woods, but it's fine. Let's uh, teleport our general over there. And get you guys grouped up over here. Catch this five stack. These guys will piece out separately. And I will... Eh, take all their money and their trade power. No big deal. There we go. These guys have a cannon as well as a two siege general. And then you guys will have him. Yeah, they're going to do that annoying thing where they just sprint around, aren't they? And there's the AI, so they're faster than you at all times. There we go. We caught him. Heck yeah. All right, Vinland. So, yeah, I think the best thing that we can do is occupy Vinland. Let their war exhaustion stack up. And then white piece them in a couple of years. Or in like a year or two. That's what I think is the best way to do this. Can't get over on these provinces, but this is fine. What's the dev over here? 13. And they moved their capital over here, which is what? 15. Okay. So at least it's got some dev. So that makes it at least a little bit of sense to me. The rest, not so much. A 125 air. Well, that's a no from me. You are terrible. We sacked his capital. Five professionalism for like 100 ducats. Definitely worth, in my opinion. Get these guys off my lands. I shall occupy you. You will not touch my lands. So you can see we're going to get called for pizza here before too long. And that's okay. I'm just going to wait on it. Um, this guy's half off for trade efficiency. So I'll go with that. We're stacking up our admin. We're very close to being able to uh, take that tech there. Which will allow us to start working down our expo ideas. Which uh, I should probably be colonizing as well. Since I have the ability to. As soon as we finish up you. We will also grab another one over here. And uh, then we're going to have to start expanding westward. Which is good. Very good actually. So each month their war exhaustion is going up a bit more and more and more. To the point where they're like absolutely just dying like they're they're dead let's do some uh do some looting might as well right there's no reason not to do i still have my claims on you i should attack you soon let's attack these guys here they have an army nope <laughs> they don't not really at least all right cool so i wanted to loot a couple of these provinces but we should probably get our armies grouped up over here now And uh, let's have these guys grouped up down here. Finland has how many men? 8,000. I'll give them like three more months. Let their war exhaustion stack up just a bit more. I just want them to suffer. Make them pay for existing, right? All right, let's go. Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know if expansion is necessary. We have three colonists. So maybe it would be in our best interest, best interest to go with like an eco and we can dev up the land that we do have. Let's go eco. Let's go eco. Eco is great. And then eco offensive gives what is it again? It gives artillery combat ability. And then later on, if we want, we'll take quantity if we want. And that'll give us some, some of that sweet meta deving, which is uh, obviously... Everybody loves the meta deving. Here we go. They're up there taking their stuff back. Their war exhaustion is up to 17. And as you can see here, this occupy this province here has 30 unrest. 30. It's nuts. Actually insane. Uh, sure. All right, Vinland. Let's white piece you. Now what that does... Sure. Now you can see here, their unrest... War exhaustion is still at 18. They didn't lose any war exhaustion for that. It's incredible. And now they suffer. Oh, shoot. I did not realize that my capital was getting sieged down. I should probably do something about that, huh? Let's get another general. Hopefully these guys' forts are basically done. Or colonies. Oh, no. These poor colonies. They're going to be bankrupt before anything else exciting happens in this game. <laughs> these poor lads. All right. Let's... uh. 14% with the AI is a little sketchy. I'm going to put it on defensiveness just to see if we can catch them before they the siege tick. Yes, we did. Very good. Civilized savages. Very good. 
Here we go. Not bad. All right, so these guys will get annexed easy enough. And I will core it, of course. We're also finishing up some colonies. Let us then, let's see, what's this about? Revoke council privileges, huh? Estates will no longer be influenced by the number of provinces they hold at the cost of their interaction becoming somewhat weaker, but still stronger than when they were than when they are discontent. Additionally, we no longer are able to use local settler interaction and a state will lose 20% base influence, but native cultures integrate faster. Hmm. I don't think so. I don't think I want that. That doesn't sound very good. So let's see here. Can I get some admin mana from the clergy? I can. So let's consult them. Summon a philosopher. Um, study philosophy. And then... No! Why can't I click it? Oh, their influence is too high. Oh, shoot. I was shooting for 75, but I, I got 80 instead. And I think I did that before as well, which is unfortunate. All right. I'll lose the man. I definitely don't want to lose the stab. These provinces are the ones I want. That is very doable. We don't get a whole lot of AE with the natives, which is great. Uh, let's get you guys over here. This province looks... Uh, is that a fort there? A castle, huh? Okay. Well done. Well done, Mr. Natives. Um, sure. Let's continue converting these guys over here. Obviously, we need to be doing that. Can I preach? Nope, sadly. All right. We're about to max out on Diplo. So let's spend some Diplo mana. Very good. We'll still be able to take the tech on time. No big deal. The mill tech, the mill mana I'm letting get a little bit higher first. Now, these guys are going to hopefully get off these provinces very soon. Okay, yeah. That's a 14 stack, so I don't want to mess with them if I can avoid it. Probably need to get this cannon up there, though. So, this is a cannon. Let's get that cannon up there, and let's have these guys come over here. They are actually blockading there. Very annoying. I have all three of my colonists available. Oh. Interesting. Well, that was an accident, so let's do that. Very good. That is actually going to be every province that we could possibly be colonizing. Leo, the 536. I am okay with that. Leo shall lead. All right. Let's actually get over here and kill off these lads. Head in there with a general, of course. Somehow those guys are just holding on for dear life. Let's get these guys up here. Fight these natives. That is a wipe. Yes. Feels good. And uh, these guys will come on over here and then over here. Oh, actually, let's have you guys head on over to Fox. And there's this unit over there. There you go. Easy enough. So we have a cannon on each of these provinces. Uh, looks like those guys are going to go in and get wiped. Easy enough as well. Now, I might... I probably should annex Fox as well because that will allow me to... Um, oh, Rebels. There we go. That will allow me to push into the interior through multiple fronts, so we'll take Fox as well. All right, so that is the goal for this war. Very good. And we will take 100% of the peace deal. Very good. Lots of money. Good money. And then we will core it all up and then never take an uh, admin idea. Right. Let's see here. Um, very good. Let's have you guys come over here. Let's have these guys come like over here. Oh, I'll go with the manpower. Manpower will win you wars in the late game. Don't care about tax. So losing a little bit of tax is never too much off skin off my back. Let's have you guys suppress over here. And just like that, it's a 29 minute episode, friends. I hope you guys enjoyed it because our borders are looking absolutely gorgeous. The Elysian Empire. Look at that. How about it? <laughs> I will gladly colonize this province here. That will actually allow them to start getting a... Um, <laughs> working on their um, economy here. So, yeah, we're going to end up needing to get some claims on some people over here. So let's get some claims, 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 claims. Can't get enough of them. Now, where is the sea tile here? All right, so Erickson River. Ah, very good. All right. So we are negative in the stab. We'll have to catch that up. That's no problem. Now, establish the census system, which will lose 50 admin. Uh, but we will get the census system, which will give us a little bit of national unrest, but tax, manpower, and a little bit of stab cost. That is fine, I suppose. I don't necessarily like that, but that's okay. 
Um, and then we just need to continue to grow until we can get at least 80,000 men in the field. Continue to colonize, convert, and uh, all is well. I hope you guys are enjoying the campaign. If you are, make sure you let me know. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ding the bell. All that fun stuff. And uh, if you want to support me, check out the Patreon linked in the description below the video. And uh, with all of that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later.